Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to make a like a running super game like this, like Super Mario's. Uh like in which you have to jump over obstacles and go underneath obstacles like that. And um like it's on an L C D display with an Arduino and you can lose like that. It's controlled by a push button like here. So just press it to start and uh, it's like the guy's running. Jump over obstacles like that, but I'm not really good at this game so uh like like just like it's like, pretty easy. The game is pretty easy. My brothers told me that. Brothers so told me that. Um, but uh, my highest score were, was 41 seconds. Because like, there's a variable up here whole, uh, telling you how many seconds you survived. Um, but instead of watching me play this game, how about you build your own? Just with an Arduino and LCD display. And you, like the potential button. But um, let's begin. Yes. Yes. Yes, dang it! Wi-Fi lost. Are you guys a little tired of just like losing Wi-Fi in the middle of the game? If so, well then hit that like button. Um, it, it, like it will let me know if you're tired. So, um, like, like I just like don't like it when like like these things happen. Like they're just, they're just so frustrating. How about we make a game that doesn't need Wi-Fi but it's still fun and like just needs a power source like a, a, like a computer or a enamel battery. My name is Mustafa, welcome to Ideas Castle, and let's Alright guys, so for this, you will need um, an Arduino. It doesn't matter what company this is from, it just has to be an Arduino Uno, because that's what I'm making it from, and that's what the code's going to be related to. A potentiometer, uh, a 10k ohm potentiometer. A push button, I, I hope you can see it. It's pretty small, you can use a bigger one, it doesn't really matter, it just has to be a push button. It can actually be any type of button, but it has to be two-sided. An LCD display, just like what the, the, the character is going to be running on. So like, you, obviously you need that to display the game. And you don't need two jumper wires, you actually need like a, a, a lot of jumper wires. So that's like, yeah, you need jumper wires. Uh, and then uploading cable, as well as a computer, because like, that's like, you can just use an Arduino before, like without that, basically. So. Um, let's get to the connections. Alright guys, so, um, like, there, there are a lot of wires on this, like, cause, like, the LCD display has some wires, wiring on it. So, um, there will be a connection, like, a, the whole connection sheet in the description, like, the link's gonna be in the description, as well as the code. So, if you, uh, if you want that, just go in the, like, the description. Click the link to a doc and it will show the code. Scroll down a bit and then there will be the connections so you can just follow them. Um, but you can, or you can stay here and like like spend uh, like three minutes while I'm explaining the connections. Okay, so let's get the connections done quickly. And so five volts from the Arduino goes to the five volt line on the breadboard and the ground uh, cable from the Arduino goes to the ground line on the breadboard. And then on the LCD display, VSS goes to ground, so that's VSS. VDD goes to 5 volts. VO goes to the potentiometer on the signal cable. And then RS goes to, let's see what's there. RS goes to 11, and then RW goes to ground, E goes to digital 9, and then we're going to skip over to digital 4 here, and digital 4 goes to digital 6, digital 5 goes to digital 5, digital 6 goes to digital 4, digital 7 goes to digital 3. A goes to 5 volts and K goes to ground. And then on the potentiometer, uh, well, as, as I said, the signal cable goes to on the LCD display VO from the potentiometer. And then the ground and uh, 5 volt cables go there. And then the, for the push button, uh, the signal cable on the push button goes to digital 2. And then the other one goes to ground. So I think that's like, that's the connections. That wasn't even three minutes, that was like really short. So yeah, that was the connections. And um, let's hop on over to the code. For the first of all, we're just gonna quickly plug this in our computer. Cause like, otherwise you can't upload a code without 
anything to move it on so okay connections on and open it up and um, okay I'm gonna show you guys what I see here all right guys so um, this here is the code as you can see on a Google Doc um this is the doc that will be in the description like the link to it will be in the description you can access it just copy and paste this doc to the Arduino IDE uh, if you want to learn stuff from it then you should uh, like type it so and anyway so this is the, like the jumping function like starting a jump like that's like the, and then yeah so like, like the, the whole translation is on beside like right beside so I'm not gonna explain the whole thing cuz I think you guys can like are smart enough to know this and then uh, so like yeah, it is on a Google Doc just paste it on a I did an idea it's just said and um, it's like yeah this is like just like the jumping function and then if you scroll down at the bottom here it like scroll like further down to the bottom like this code is a bit long because like the jumping function and stuff so I'm um, like don't get scared by that it's a pretty simple project but, uh, otherwise so and here it says connections and the so where it says connections like and it says LCD to Arduino and potential so these are the connections for the LCD and then so like just you follow these connections and then the push button is at the bottom the connections for it so um let's go all right guys so I have the game on here as you can see just press the uh, push button to start and uh, it'll start like that and then there are these obstacles you have to jump over using the push button try not to hit them I'm not so good at this game so like I, I'm not good at this game at all for some reason. I'm not good at games, but I can make them. So uh, yeah, just like jump over obstacles. There is a, a variable on the top corner, uh, just right here. So like, uh, like that counts the seconds, uh, how and how many so seconds you survived. And then there's a potential meter here to set the brightness and stuff. So um, my but my LCD display isn't good. So uh, let's go. Hi guys, I'm so like um. This is a pretty fun project for me, like since it's basically made for fun, and um, like I hope this works for you, and like if like you just like want to quickly make something cool, you don't, don't want to make something boring. Like okay, let's turn on LCD display and that's it, or let's turn on OLED display and that's it, and let's just like make something cool out of them. Then you should like like this project should work good, like it should be good for you, and um, like you're probably here because you like to make stuff, and you're creative probably. And I think you all are because you like to make stuff. And creative people like colorful colors, like um, like blue, yellow, white, red. And um, so, and we don't like gray, do we? So, which is why I would really like it if you make that gray uh, like button a blue like button, if it works for you. And if you want to watch more content like this, uh, then hit the uh, red subscribe uh, button to, uh, and then like turn on the notifications so you can like know whenever I make a new video. And then like some other subscribers where subscribing ma helps them make more content and uh, only them it doesn't help you at all basically mine's a bit different mine will my channel will help you like uh, like give you like better education on uh, how to like do this kind of stuff if you hit the subscribe button it will not only help me but it will help you and like it will benefit you a lot by just hitting one button and that's basically it you're basically getting educated uh, in a pretty fun way I think and um, I, if you haven't watched my other videos, like they're probably somewhere here. So um, like click one of them and uh, bye.